Hello, welcome or welcome back to today's video. I am so excited because I did go to Ulta. I did wake up early and went to Ulta, me and my boyfriend actually. But I did purchase the Pokemon and ColourPop collection. I did pick up a few items from my local Ulta and I got the Palette Town eyeshadow palette. The palette does retail for $30.00. You do get 24 shades, which I thought was a little high priced for ColourPop, but that's the price. I picked up the Your Catch Berry Lip Mask. The lip mask retails for $12. And I did pick up both Electro Ball and Metronome Blush. So cute. And the blushes each retailed for $14, but I did have a $10 off coupon, making everything just a little bit cheaper. And I must mention that it did not work on the lip mask, the coupon, so that's kind of strange. The lip mask is a freaking Pokeball, bro. So I had to get this. This smells very good. It's like berries and vanilla. It's like pink and it has a little bit of sparkle in it. I'm excited. I love ColourPop's lip mask, so this is definitely an item that's gonna see a lot of use and it's so tasty, like it tastes so good. And I love the packaging, this is so freaking cute. But also very, I will get a lot of use out of that. I feel like out of all of ColourPop's lip products, the lip masks, definitely the best. They also had the lip gloss set. I did not want that lip gloss set because I don't love ColourPop's lip products. I'm going to start with this shade Lavender Town. I'm going to take that on a Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee number 3. And I'm going to add this to like this outer corner right here. Keeping it pretty straight out. Kind of adding this shade all over the lid. And then I'm going to take the shade called Pewter City right here. I'm trying to blend the lavender and this like white pewter shade. I don't love the matte with sparkles because I don't really think the sparkles stay very well. I'm going to take a Sigma E06 and I'm going to dip into the shade called Drying Pan. That was probably a mistake. I dug into it and now I like dug into it. So that's great for me. I just wanted like a little wing with the shade, but you know, it had other plans for me. This shade is not for what I'm using it for. I'm going to add that to the lower area as well. It was a hard one uh, to get here, but we're here. To add a little bit of sparkle, I'm taking the shade called Blasting Off, and I'm not gonna drag this on my eye at all. This is a pressed glitter. I hate when ColourPop puts them in here, so I'm actually gonna rub some off in the back of my hand, so it's just like a light sparkle, because it's literally all I want. This is like my ghost Pokemon eye look. I wanted to be more specific, but the look doesn't look like what I wanted it to look like. So we're going for a ghost Pokemon look, which could be a bunch of Pokemon. For the next eye look, I want to recreate something I saw on the ColourPop Instagram. So I am going to try to recreate that look today. And it's a Pikachu inspired look. So I'm going to start with the shade Saffron City. And I'm going to apply that all over my crease. Kind of tapping it in because it is one of those mattes that has glitter in them. But it is very pigmented and it's applying very nicely. I'm also trying to wing it out just a little on the end here. And going to pack this all over the lid. As a nice topper, I'm going to take this shade called Champion. And I'm pretty sure this is also a pressed glitter. So I am just going to tap it off on the back of my hand just so I can have like a light dust of sparkle. I don't want it to be too much because I, I don't love the ColourPop pressed glitter formula. I feel like this is the only way I get use out of the glitters in this palette. They did change the formula and I do prefer this formula of it. It's not as chunky. I think it stays on better. So the scary part of this look is the graphic eyeliner. And I did practice, but Lord help me and I'm praying that I don't fuck this up. I'm scared. I'm literally shaking. It's just makeup, bitch. Ah. Oh my god, I'm literally stressing over this little fucking graphic eyeliner. Definitely not as good as the artist. 
But y'all, I tried. You can barely fucking see it. But it's close enough, I guess. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Yeah, I have to take the lightning off to because it, it wasn't working, but I redid it and it looks much better. Much, much better. I'm taking my daily dose of my coffee, but I need it to survive because if not, I literally am like this. <laughs> so before I get into my lower lash line, I do want to try these blushes. I have heard that they're pretty sheer, but I just want to try them out on camera. So I'm going to start with the shade Metronome. I'm going to apply this on my purple side. And I have heard that these are pretty sheer, but they're very pretty. I mean, just because they're sheer doesn't mean that they can't be built up. And I really like this color. I think it's really cute. I'm actually going to apply that to my nose as well. I'm excited to see how Electro Ball goes on on the other side. This one's like a bright red. I feel like this one for the summertime is going to be so pretty. And I'm so sorry that I could not get the purple blush to try. I literally went to two different Ulta's. I woke up early. It was there at opening. They just didn't have it. And I had to order that one online. So I guess I'll make, make a short. So which one do you really like better? I don't, I don't love... That these are super sheer. I wish there was like a little more pigment to them. But I like that this one looks super like natural, super glowy. And this one's like definitely more juicy, more summery. I like the vibes. I like these. These are good. I like that they're not the same powder blushes that they always do. They did switch it up a little and gave us some cream blushes. And I appreciate that for, especially for the spring and summer season. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to take this shade called Trainer's Path. And I'm going to start adding this on my lower lash line. Kind of winging it out on the end as well. I'm also going to take the Anastasia 7B brush. And I'm going to add like a little tiny wing to my outer corner. I'm just going to extend this wing a little bit more. I'm going to take the NYX epic ink liner this is in black and i am going to create a little wing here to kind of match this brown one i'm gonna take this shade called i choose you and i'm gonna take that on a q-tip right here that's so cute my little pikachu look that's so cute <gasps> okay that's like the best part of this whole look i think that i've done the little circle part the rest looks a little iffy but I'm okay with that because it's my first time trying something like this and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I might keep this handy. I may try that with the purple and see how that works. On this eye, I'm going to take the shade Lavender Town, of course, match it up with the top. So I'm going to take this on the lower lash line about a little more than halfway. And then going into this shade called Pewter City again. Into this inner corner. And I want to make like bubbles of like gas. Because Ghastly has bubbles of gas. And to do so, I'm going to take this shade called Drying Pan. And the other side of the Q-tip that's not red. This is the Ghost Psychic Pokemon, right? And this is the Electric Pokemon. <laughs> So what are my final thoughts on the Pokemon X Colourpop collection? You guys, I wish I could have tried everything. I would have loved to give you my thoughts on those lip balm things and that purple blush. Also, I was not able to purchase the Super Shocks either. The Ulta situation was not working out for me. They didn't have like half of the collection at Ulta. I went to two different stores and I was shit out of luck at both of them but i was still able to purchase everything so it's like a win but also like i feel like i was still duped by ulta and ColourPop because i feel like this could have gone a lot better <laughs> if you went to your local ulta and you found some items but not all of the items you wanted i recommend checking back in midweek if you are able to i know not everyone's able to i am not able to so i totally understand everyone's frustration really with with this collection i do think it's very cute i had a lot of fun creating these super cute like kawaii pokemon inspired looks i know not everyone might think like this one's definitely pokemon but this one's like what the fuck is that 
and like i don't know ghost pokemon are kind of hard to like put on the eye but i tried my best and i'm very I'm very happy with the looks i was able to create although i don't see either of the blushes on my cheeks anymore oh i don't know where'd they go the red one looks pink it looks pink this one just it, i don't really even see it anymore i don't know i feel like ColourPop needs to work on these cream formulas just a little bit maybe add a little more pigment i can see where they're going for they want this like sheer light moment i'm not mad but i'm not happy at the same time like if you want like a little more touch of blush you can take the patrick Ta method take a sponge and kind of like lightly tap over your cheeks just so it can kind of look more like melted into the skin so i feel like you can make these work definitely but i don't know i feel like for 14 dollars that these are <laughs> a little overpriced you know my elf camo liquid blushes are the most pigmented blushes i own they're super affordable as well so i expect a little bit better from ColourPop, considering the price of these i would say maybe pick one shade that you're into and see how you like that one because i feel like there could be a little more pigment than there is out of the two shades, I think the red one is definitely the one I'm going to get a little more use out of, especially the summertime because like it just looks more like pigmented and it looks juicy and nice for the summer. It's not that I don't like this one, I just feel like this one's more common and I see this one around more. You know, I have this done like 10 times over. I don't think I have many like red toned cream blushes, so I feel like this one for me is definitely going to be used a lot this summer. I did not get nearly enough into this palette as much as I want to. This is perfect for summer. This has like all of the colors. My complaint is I think there's too many pressed glitters in here. I would have preferred just regular shimmers from ColourPop. This packaging is incredible. 10 out of 10. I love it. It makes me happy every time I open this palette. It gives me the nostalgia that I need. Also, I like that the Pokemon are all inside. It kind of like gives you inspo for like what you want to create. And then you have like, of course, the famous four on the front. The back also shows all the colors and you have Meowth and Pikachu on the back here. Super fun packaging. And then of course I did purchase the lip mask. Of course this is incredible. I feel like if you can only get one item, this would probably be the best collector's item you can get. It's a little Pokeball. You're going to use it. And then once you're done with it, I guess you can just keep the container. I don't see why not. You can put anything you want in it after, which I think would be super cute. But this is probably the one item that you know is not going to fail you. So if you're like, I'm not sure, or you're not really into makeup, but you love Pokemon, this is probably what you would want to be picking up from this collection. Overall, I do love the nostalgia factor that this collection has, and it did make me so happy. It made me want to play Pokemon. I have a Game Boy, so like I get to play Pokemon on like Game Boy, which is so fun, and it's so nostalgic. And then I also play Pokemon Go, and I've been re-getting into playing Pokemon Go, which has been fun as well. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'm sorry I wasn't able to pick up the entire collection. I tried my best. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I would love to hear which look was your favorite. Did you pick up anything from this collection? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye! What is this called? Alora Lee and Manny. This is my eye look. I'm going to apply a pair. Can you please put us on silent mode? Like, I wanted to be more specific, but it didn't allow me to. So, pray for me. Holy shit, pray for me. You found some items that weren't. And I have very fun. <laughs>